Okay, so this guy was very clearly shot. But by who? Oh, maybe he was shot by the guy who died because he was holding a gun. The previous guy who died. Oh no, no, someone, oh, I think this guy overheard some eavesdropping. This guy overheard some eavesdropping. It's mutiny. Ah, see, this is the guy who died in the previous scene. He's actually the one who killed this guy. Where is Brennan here? Oh. He's right here. He has a beanie. And here is William. William. Oh. There's a guy here too. Who is this? They probably heard the gunshot downstairs, so they're going to see what's happening here. Oh, isn't that... Oh, this is the captain. See, they look really similar. He has his hands crossed. The guy who's dead says, Enough, Captain cannot be trusted. He's talking to someone else, you have a plan? Yes, we take ship and sail east. Trade wretched fish and shells for gold. Huh? Who's there? So the guy who died was part of the mutiny that we saw at the very beginning. They were gonna take the ship. Mutiny, mutiny! Oh, but wait! Wait, the guy who died is not... Because if you look at the conversation here... Just the conversation, it sounds like the guy who found out about the mutiny died. But actually, the guy who was planning the mutiny died. Yeah, because mutiny, mutiny was not said by the person who died. There's no X here. Fresh Bastard, the guy trying to chase down the eavesdropper, is the one who died. No. No. So, does that mean that this guy is the eavesdropper then? The guy with a gun. Okay. This guy was pretty much decapitated, pretty much, but maybe shot with a gun by the guy whose name we don't know. No. Okay, so what's really going on here? We're back here. We know that these two guys, William and Brennan, they were planning the mutiny as well because we saw them at the very end. They were standing outside the captain's quarters. Captain doesn't seem to care about the gunshot, by the way. Oh, you were here too! Wait. Oh, why are there so many dead people here suddenly? This... the guy whose head got blown off is also planning the mutiny. This guy might actually be protecting the guy who's crawling away to his death. Yeah, look, because the blood starts here. Maybe this guy stabbed the guy with a knife. And then... And then this guy's trying to protect him by killing this guy. According to what we're seeing here, anyway. It's hard to tell. Ah, we know all of this information, but we don't, um... We can't put any of it down because we don't know any names. That's frustrating. We'll have to try our best to remember this, then. Okay. Is there another body here? Where? Oh, whoa, I didn't even... Oh, there's a guy hanging overboard! Is this guy trying to help him up or trying to push him off? There's a lot of blood here. I feel like I'm gonna forget. We haven't made any progress on the fate so far. It's making me worried. 
Okay, so the, the guy who was shot, he was shot by this guy. This guy was killed by Brennan. And then, uh, tentatively, I also think this guy who got knifed... Did he die of a knife wound then? Can we say that? Oh, what the heck? Wait, am I looking at the right guy here? Uh, it won't show me his death with a pocket watch. No, 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 because you know what? We need to go look at that body above board. It's not showing me the pocket watch right now. Yeah, okay, so hang on. Hang in there for a second, okay? What I think happened is that... This guy was knifed. I don't think I put it in just yet earlier, so I want to at least do that. So that we're not forgetting everything. This guy was knifed by the guy who got shot. Sorry if I'm repeating myself a lot. I'm just trying to reinforce my own memory here. He was knifed by the guy who got shot. Now back up here. Oh, that's the original body. So this guy, what happened to you? Oh my god. What? Is this the guy who got thrown overboard? Okay. Oh. Oh, the lady here. Who apparently we can figure out already. She... She shot the guy. There's a guy next to her, too. Somebody with an ascot. Oh! This is the captain. The captain is also aiming at that guy. But the one who actually dealt the blow... Oh, there's another guy here! What the heck? What's going on? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Oh, Brennan. Brennan and William. Right? Yeah. Brennan and William. Trying to rush up here. You know, a lot of this will probably become clearer as we go back in the right chronological order. Because right now, I think we're looking at everything in reverse. 11 people were here. Other people. How did this guy die? He was shot by the lady. Yeah, pretty definitively, I think. Mm. He was shot. And the problem is, I don't know the lady's name. Yeah, apparently we can figure her out already. Is it because there's not that many women on board? We probably have to review that again sometime. Hmm, well, we'll think about it. Yeah. Whole bunch of people here. Both these women can be identified. Yeah, she looks... Well, she doesn't look Chinese. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh, I gotta be careful here because Robert and William look really similar. Oh. With a hat and all. Ascot, the guy with the ascot in the back. This guy was knifed. Shot. Okay, let's just look at the thing. Another body here? Who is this? It's just another guy? Yeah, the women. Are they trying to escape on the lifeboat? But then there was also like a guy climbing... Is this guy climbing up or down? I have no idea. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go as in, let the people on the lifeboat leave? But who said that? Not the guy who died. William and Brennan, the captain? What the hell are you doing here? I don't know who this is at all. Oh. Can we go back down? Is that guy... No. There's no blood yet. That guy hasn't been knifed just yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, look. The guy who got shot with a gun. 
is trying to knife the guy who's running away. Yeah, I think we got this part. It's just that we need to have a starting point for figuring out all these names, and then once we get them, maybe it'll be like a domino. This guy was planning a mutiny with this guy? It's bloodier. Uh, this is the guy who had a gun. Wait. So maybe they're not planning the mutiny then. This is the guy who killed this guy, and this is the guy who killed this guy. What was going on above board here? Oh my god. Now where's the next body? Oh, next to the other dead guy. He seems to have died. Is that his sword or the sword of the person who attacked him? Oh, come on, man. I know you're gonna end up back here. <laughs> Still not too sure what the heck that is in the distance. Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last push. Someone said let them go again. Okay, so this is clearly the guy who died. Paul Lookout? Said by a woman voice, which I'm guessing is this lady. So this must be Paul then, right? She's reaching out to him. Oh. And over here, the captain is shooting in the air, maybe to say, stop, stop fighting. Everyone's coming to see what the commotion is. Here's William. Yeah, William and Brennan. Everyone's coming over here. Okay, so for William and Brennan, they were coming over here because people were fighting, but then fighting started going on downstairs too? At the same time. Twelve people were here. Who is this? How did they die? Uh, Paul, right? Last one, move quick. Last one, move quick. Oi, you'll not take the last boat. Paul, look out! Stop! Let them go! No. Damn. Damn, because he got stabbed? So Paul, Paul is saying, last one, move quick. Everyone seems to be trying to escape on that lifeboat thing. So maybe that's what he means. Stop, let them go. Mmm, maybe the captain? The captain letting people leave because they want to? No. So the guy killing Paul does not want people to leave because he doesn't want people taking the last boat. Stop, let them go. I'm guessing this is the captain, but maybe we'll just have to look around the scene again first. But for now, Paul. Didn't we bring up a Paul previously too? Paul. Paul Moss? Are there other Pauls? Nope. That's pretty much it. Yeah, Paul Moss. Yeah, and he's identifiable, obviously. Met an unknown fate. He was stabbed with a sword. Would that be killed with a sword? By somebody whose name we currently don't know. He's in two memories. Okay. I wonder if this, this number here, is it um, the amount of memories that we have of him or in total? Because that would make a difference. If he appears in two memories only, that would mean that we have all the relevant information for him already. It's just that we don't know the name of the guy who killed him. Yeah, we found his corpse here. There's a lifeboat here. Escape. The chapter is called Escape. That might be worth remembering. Okay. And there's another body here. But let's look around here first. Ah. So we can't go here, because no one's in here yet, but here, here, look. Yeah, the Ascot guy. Yeah, yeah, so this is the guy who got knifed by the guy with the hat. And had the, had the shotgun and everything, the gun. 
Uh, oh my god, what's wrong with this guy? This guy has a top hat. And he's missing an arm. There's a lot of blood here. So they were sitting nicely. Were they discussing the mutiny here then? Um... Yeah, in the previous scene, we saw that this guy heard what they were talking about. I don't know if this guy's still alive though, because he looks pretty damn dead to me. Um... And then this guy ran away. No, no, this guy was running away. And then this guy was like, hey, who is that? And he started running. And then he followed him to stab him. And this guy, even though he wants a mutiny, maybe he doesn't want to kill people. So maybe that's why he killed this guy. We really need some names here. Like people, it's really hard to talk about this if we don't have names. Yeah, this guy has a hat. This guy has a fancy hat. Hmm. This guy has a hat, but not as fancy of a hat. And this guy... This guy has a top hat. Are you the corpse? Yeah, you are. That's Paul. Hmm. The boat's not here anymore, so they must have escaped. So the people who are on the boat, maybe we can safely mark them as being alive then. No? Hold up. Oh, I'm back. I thought you were gonna give me the body here. No? What's going on? I gotta follow you? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. The, that, the beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. Captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. A curse like that does not live for nothing. <coughs> Hmm, sounds like he had his last breath here. I think this piece of dialogue has given us a lot of information, but let's look around first. Because I heard things like accents and non-English words, Frenchmen. Yeah, these two were... I guess they were trying to take care of him, but kind of before his dying moments. This guy hasn't heard yet. William... William is here. Because this is the first mate's room, right? Was it? We'll have to look at the map again. There's a guy here. Oh, this is the eavesdropping guy. The ascot guy. Oh, there's another... Another way down here. Oh! There's a door. Who's this? This is... The captain. This is Robert. Everyone was just kind of doing their thing. Curiously enough though, they bring up a squid, but we've already seen the squid, and we're looking at this in reverse chronological order, right? So does that mean that the squid came twice? A curse like that does not lift for nothing. <gasps> we can identify him. Already. Put me down, let go. Says the guy who died. Easy now, you're in a bad way. The squid, where is my Frenchman? Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. Verdampt! Is that... Is that German? Let me look it up. Oh, German meaning bloody hell. Does that mean that I can look in the list and find someone who's German? And if there's only one, then we can say it's him? We didn't. It left with a storm. The captain came up from the hold, said he chased it off. You should rest. A curse like that does not lift for nothing. Sounds like the captain made a pact with the devil or something. 
Okay, so we have clues here. A German and a Frenchman. Where is my Frenchman? What does that mean? Your mate? Does that, like, does mate mean first mate? That kind of mate? A sailor mate or a friend? Mmm, maybe we have to look at the list of names. Right, so earlier William came out of the first mate's room. Third mate. I'm willing to bet the guy with a hat. Since he's around this area, he might be one of the mates too, but we don't know which one. We just don't know which one exactly. Martin was third mate, right? So maybe second or fourth. Bosun? Bosonate? Okay. Well, it sounds like he was torn apart by the beast. He's missing an arm. Ah, okay, so look at this. It says this soul appears in three memories, but we've only seen two so far. We only have two. So this number is the total amount of memories that this person appears in then, right? Okay. Okay, which means I think we should wait. We should wait until we find the last memory to see how he actually died. Because right now here, it seems like he he was heavily injured and they brought him to the, the deck here. And that's what happened. But, okay, if we look here. Are there any Germans? God, we even have some people with no names and stuff. Like, how the heck are we going to identify that? Multiple people. Honestly, in general, it's probably just a good idea to have a handle on how many people we have from whatever locations and whatnot. But as I see it, I don't see a single German here. No, I did see Austria. Austria. Christian Wolf, a gunner. Is that the only Austrian? No, there's another one here. Alfred Klestel, bosun. Bosun. What about French people? There's one right here. Oh, hold on. Oh, if he's this guy, and he's saying, where's my Frenchman? Would that make sense? Because it's like a bosun looking for a bosun's mate. Because to my knowledge, Austria and Germany speak really similar languages, right? So that's what I'm basing this off of right now. Okay, how many French people are here? <gasps> Is he the only French guy? That we know of? I think so. So, whether or not he's Alfred, it's pretty unambiguous that he's looking for Charles Minor, the bosun's mate. And, on top of the fact that the bosun is an Austrian, who should speak something similar to German, verdammt. Could I say that he's Alfred? Yeah, cause his face is clear right now, too. Oh, I think we got one, finally. An identity. Um, in terms of his fate, I want to say he died because of the beast, but... What would that be? His arm. His arm was taken off. Crushed by beast, maybe? We'll, we'll leave that part alone until we find the third memory. How about that? Yeah, because we only have two right now. Okay. Okay, cool! Cool, we found Alfred. Alfred. Now, if we ever come across a Frenchman, we'll know it's Charles Minor for sure. For sure. What's happening above deck? Anything? No, not really. This seems to be the calm before the storm at the very end, with the Kraken and all. Oh, what does that mean? Disappearances. Four wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are cataloged here. Is that what the half an X means? T the two ladies who can already be identified, apparently. They've left. They've left on the lifeboat. Right? Um... Hmm... Wait, I recognize the first lady for sure, but this lady was also on the boat, right? Yeah, there's not that many ladies here. Don't know who they are. These two people, I don't even... Were they also on the boat? It's too blurry to tell. Okay. It seems like we might have finished another chapter then, judging by the... Um, this thing here. And we saw that it's possible for us to go down here next. Alright, alright. 
Can I get an overview of what we've done so far, what we've looked at? Are there any things that we can solve already, or should we just keep going? Because I do feel kind of uneasy about the fact that we haven't had any validation that we've been doing any good work at all so far. Um. Okay, hold on. Ah, okay. The Doom. The Doom. Ah, I thought this was all reverse chronological, but the chapter that we were at just now was the escape. And the Doom, that's when the squid showed up, so it's not strictly reverse chronological. No. We started here, but then we went here, but then we went here too. Okay, is that the only stuff we saw? Yeah, there's nothing here so far. Murder. Oh my god, the calling. Unholy captives. These chapter names might be hints too. Soldiers of the Sea. The Doom. Yeah. Oh, the Doom, there's multiple, but we haven't seen all of it yet. Who is this? How do they die? Load, move my hands. Ah, this is uh, on the gun deck, of course. Okay, well, if I look at this person's memories... Oh, this person appears in one... This soul appears in one memory, but we have two... Things? Is that the same memory? 77. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh. Uh, that means... So this is the same memory. Okay. Wait, then I'm not so sure about that numbering anymore. Hold on. Can I look at someone else? Two memories? So these are two different memories. First memory, 78. Perished, 79. Those are the page numbers for the... Um, the memories, right? Right, right, so... Oh, okay, I, I think I see how this is. So th this time, we do have the two memories that we need to find out this guy. Um... Yeah, honestly, right now, I don't even... <laughs> Did we even see this guy properly? Yeah, these people were all just on the gun deck. Hmm. This guy. Who is he? He can be identified? What? I don't remember this guy. Who is this? How did they die? They appear in two memories, which we already have. Um. Get to the main bit, quick. Hold on, hold on, throw it. Throw the powder. What? <laughs> How do we know about him already? Uh, do we want to try looking and see? Okay, so this is the exploding bit, right? Where is his first memory? What? What? Do we want to look at this a little bit more? Uh, if I want to go back to the memory, I can't do it via the book. I have to go back to the actual location of the corpse. Is that what's happening here? What in the world? Oh, this guy, this guy was, uh, yeah, <laughs> screw this guy. I don't know who he is at all. This guy seems Indian, though, based on the turban. Um. Okay, well, we'll leave him alone for now. Another guy who <laughs> apparently we can find out, but I'm not sure exactly. How many people did we fill in so far for their entire fates? Because the only person I can think of is Brennan. Uh... Okay, we have halves. We have a lot of halves. That doesn't count. We could probably do this one. We could guess that it's like crushed by beast or something, but yeah. Paul Most. Yeah, we don't have the name of the guy. That doesn't count. This guy was shot with a gun by someone we don't know. We actually haven't filled out very much. <laughs> Just looking at it like this. This one. Henry Brennan was knifed by Captain Robert Witterell. I think that might be the only... <laughs> the only not set in stone one that we have here. Okay. Well, you know what? In that case, I just need to stop worrying, you know? I need to just move forward and keep looking around. Oh my god, that's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. Oh. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, the ship. We are on 
Orlop Deck. Orlop Deck. Purser's office, passengers. Okay. Port walk? Gunner store? If we find someone in the gunner store, can we say they're the gunner? <laughs> I don't know. Starboard walk. Crew. Surgery. Oh, the surgeon should be easy to identify. There's only one, right? A surgeon and a surgeon's mate or something? Okay. This is the surgery wing. I think that's the same room. It's not too much to look at around here. What the heck? What is that? Hmm. Oh, is that a body? Oh, I think it might be. Let's go around on the other side first. It otherwise seems kind of peaceful, but... Okay. This is the gunner store. Doesn't look very gunner story. But then again, it's not like I would know what that would look like, right? Okay. What's this guy? Her here. One swing. Get true to skull and stone her brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. The butcher! Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> you all right there, sir? <laughs> Never been on a farm, chap. Find your shoes now. Okay, there's a butcher on board. I know this. There's names here. That's good. That's good. They are trying to butcher a cow, and this guy can't handle it, so he's barfing. This is Charlie. It's goddamn Charlie. I got you. I got you. Okay. A small contained scene this time? Or is there more around here? Okay. Hey, this is the Formosan royalty. And his bodyguard. Okay. A guy with a monkey? <laughs> what are they doing here? Is this related to the captives thing that we saw in the, the chapter listing earlier? What? Alright. Okay. Are you gonna bring me back or can I look around more? Yep. A bitter cold. It keeps showing me the ship location, but so far I haven't really been paying attention to that. The map location? A large cow was slaughtered for its meat, and nobody died here! That's amazing, 10 people were here. We know Charlie, okay? Charlie Minor. Nobody died. Take him to the carpenters, get him wrapped up and see to the last rites. Hit her here, one swing. The guy talking, one of these people is the, um, the butcher. I'm pretty sure there's only one. But when you just see a scene like that, it's hard to tell who said what, and there's three people around the cow. Yeah. Yeah. German again? Aus Austrian? Who says yeah? Come on, before she kicks up. You all right there, sir? Never been on a farm, Charlie? Mind your shoes now. Okay, well, at the very minimum, we can identify Charlie. We are currently at Starboard Walk. Where is a butcher place anyway? Is there a dedicated place to that? Maybe not. There is a carpenter shop. That's what they were talking about. Okay. You, you have got to be Charlie. Yes. And you are now, you can be identified. Oh, it's Charles Minor. Just to make sure, there's no other Charlie on board, is there? <gasps> you have done- <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god. 
Okay, there's a midshipman Charles from England. And there is a bosun's mate Charles Minor from France. <laughs> bosun's mate. Bosun's mate versus midshipman. We probably want to reference the job again. The job thing. Okay. All right. Nobody actually died here, surprisingly. Oh, this guy can be identified as well. The butcher? Can I look at the list again? Carpenter? Carpenter's mate? Feel like some of these people must be here too. In the scene. Uh, We should really pay attention to things that only have one, one person at the occupation. Cook? Butcher? Purser? Helmsman? Artist? Midshipman. Okay, so how many... Oh my goodness, okay. This guy can be identified. He's got an apron. Seems like the butcher to me. But I'm not a hundred percent sure. What?! Wait, three of these people can be identified? Are they... Do they all have the same job? Because they all seem to wear similar... Outfits? This guy has an ascot, but how the heck can we tell from this one conversation? These were blurred up until very recently, weren't they? Oh my goodness. Mmm... I want to look up the definition of a... Of... A midshipman versus a bosun. Four men in charge of general crew operations and the equipment required to sail the ship. Sounds like it could be someone who's managing the, the dead cow. Midshipman. Officer in training. Assists various officers and tradesmen in order to learn ship operations, usually of privileged status. Uh, this one sounds more right, because they're assisting tradesmen, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, it might be a mistake here, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say that this guy we're looking at here is the second Charles. I think it's safe enough. Seems to fit the role a little bit more. Charles. Charles Hirschstick? Yeah? I think it makes sense, according to his job. With this information, I wonder if we can say that people wearing a similar sort of uniform are all midshipmen? There's a lot of curiosity. How many are there again? One, two, three, four. 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 Peter Milroy Thomas Lank? Mm, and an unknown guy with no name. There's a lot of topmen and seamen. Midshipmen as well. Okay, we'll leave it alone for now. Yeah, let's just try to see everything first. Here? Wait. This is the eavesdropping guy, isn't it? Yeah, so the other midshipmen. And it makes sense, because they're all trying to help out- Wait, it means that this guy's not a midshipman, right? It means this guy's the butcher? Take him to the carpenters, get him wrapped up and see to the last rites. Uh, are the first two lines said by the same person? Yeah, yeah. One nationality is the butcher. One nationality is the butcher. <laughs> Butcher... Ireland! Yeah! <laughs> Sounds about right, I want to say. Is it too premature? It's definitely worse if we make a mistake, rather than not putting anything in. I feel that way anyway, but I don't know. One memory. Really? One memory so far... Home. I feel like when the images become unblurred is a huge hint as to when we can figure these people out too. Yeah, so these people are midshipmen. And we have names. We definitely have names. Oh, hold on. Hold on. If there's four midshipmen, and three of them have names, and this guy we can't identify, does that mean that this guy is the unknown? Like, it says unknown here right now, but can I... Oh. I don't have information yet. Yes, 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 I know this. Okay. But I just wanted to see the list again.
Here. See? Unknown, Peter Milroy, Thomas Lank. We know it's these four people, okay? The midshipmen. But I feel like this guy might be the unknown guy. But since it's saying that I shouldn't guess it yet, I won't. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, this is very early on chronologically, right? A Bitter Cold, Chapter 2. Hey! We can't identify the chicken. The livestock. Formosan royalty? Makes sense for them to be here because this is the passengers area, right? Or, oh yeah, right here. Formosan royalty. They are looking at some guy getting dragged up here. Now who? Why would this guy have a monkey with him? I just... <laughs> like, who would have that power or privilege? I'm not quite sure. Okay. I don't know who these people are. This guy has a hat. Uh, it's hard to tell. Hard to tell. Okay. Oh, that's a body! Oh my lord. I thought they were capturing him somewhere. 